Okay, welcome to the part four, the Grumman two teardrop. Uh, what we'll do here is finish the interior layout and then the framing. Uh, what I'm going to do is start laying out uh, the grid lines for the front wall here. And this is at 110 in 10 and a half inches to that spot. And then we'll go ahead and make this out of 3 8 inch plywood. And then coming up from the top of the floor here, we'll come up 21 and 7 or 21 and 3 quarters inches. And then again, we're making that with 3 8 plywood. We'll go ahead and zoom in here. Uh, go ahead and draw your lines. Again, I just draw beyond that. And then, you now let's not let me do it very well there. Click there, come on up, intersection, and then out. And then we'll go ahead and I, again, I like to draw this little line here. Delete the parts we don't need. Good lines. And that's the front. And what we'll do now is lay out the grid lines for the frame. Uh, we're just going to draw the frame in profile now. But later on we'll go ahead and uh, draw it in 3D. Uh, start the frame three inches from the back, the very back. And we're going to have two inch square stock. This will be the rear cross member here. And then we'll put a front cross member up here, roughly at 21, or excuse me, 91 and a half inches. Well, that didn't quite work out. Uh, not where I meant to put it. Let me do that again. It was nine foot one and a half inches. So you can do nine, and then the little foot hash mark, and then 1.5. There we go. And then we'll go back two inches. And then we can go ahead and put our lines. And we'll do the. Okay, now we're going to have to slide this over some and draw the front. Have to zoom in a little bit to make sure we get it right here on this point. And then come back. Now I just draw it out roughly about the distance it will be later on when we actually draw it in 3D uh, or convert it to 3D. We'll uh, determine the exact length that it needs to be. Again, we'll go up here and delete the guidelines and then zoom to the extent. And there you go. Um, for all purposes, that's where we'll end up. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually make a group out of this. So we select everything here. Uh, you can also go up to edit and select all. That's the same same function. And then we will right click on it and we'll make a group. That groups all those parts together. Uh, now if you draw a line over the top of it, it will not be part of that group. You actually have to double click, open up the group, and then you can edit it. Uh, but uh, once you click out, that's it. And now what we're going to do is actually put this on a layer. Uh, I got the Layers tab open here, but you can also go up to Windows and go to Layers. And as you see, Entities and Materials, those are all right there. Uh, so anyway, click on Layers over here. We'll go ahead and add a layer, and we'll call this layer Profile. OK. And then what we'll do is, on entity, we'll go ahead. Oh, we need to click on our group, and then we'll put this in the profile, or we'll call that profile. And now, what this allows you to do is, when you click on profile, uh, the visible part it goes away. It doesn't actually erase it; it just goes away. Or, and you'll see how that's helpful later on. And that's it for right now. We'll uh, go ahead, and I'll come back, and we'll start doing some 3D layout.